Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about mold toxicity and the link between mold and EMF. So EMFs are electromagnetic fields, and I'm talking about the unhealthy ones. So the ones from all of our devices, and it's called the non-native EMF. So not the natural EMFs from the earth, of course, but all of the damaging, and it's usually non-ionizing radiation, whether that's from our appliances, it could be from anything that's plugged into our home, Home, in terms of our home wiring systems, of course our Wi-Fi, and now we have you know 5G, 6G coming, 7G, and our cell phone exposure. So anything really that has that you know ability to irradiate us definitely has a negative impact on our health. So that connection between EMFs and that radiation with mold growth is definitely there, and this is something that was in experiments was proven, Dr. Dr. Dietrich Klinghart explained, you know, an experiment done by a Swiss doctor in which they put mold plates. So they were culturing mold, they put it on the petri dish and put these plates, some with exposure to EMFs and some were protected by Faraday fabric. If you don't know what that is, that's usually an interwoven mesh fabric that has metal, which will protect and not allow for that radiation of the EMFs to pass through. And what they found was that the unprotected plate that had all of that radiation from EMFs inundating it was 600 times more growth of those biotoxins and that mold, 600 times. So, and the other thing that they noticed was that the EMFs actually caused the mold to be not only more invasive, but that it was really continuing to multiply to really defend itself from the EMFs itself. So it makes you think now if, you know, you've got that EMF exposure in your home, your Wi-Fi, and you have maybe a leak or there's you know a very damp environment for instance a basement with that mold exposure that this is going to be exasperated with that EMF exposure as well so dr. Klinghart also pointed out that just one cubic inch of air around a cell phone so that radiation exposure 10 years previous is now at least 1 million times higher in terms of the damaging effects of that cell phone radiation exposure. So something to think about, and that is a quote from, you know, a little while back. So I'd have to say now with 5G, 6G coming, you know, that that would even be that much higher than the 1 million times as he discussed years ago. Dr. Klinghart was also known for linking autism, especially if a woman in her pregnancy had chronic yeast issues or even Lyme disease either just before her pregnancy or during her pregnancy and combining that with that EMF exposure really increased you know the likelihood of her having an autistic child so something definitely to clear up if you're wanting to conceive you're thinking about having a baby to definitely clean up if you've got any mold toxicity chronic yeast issues Lyme issues definitely do that in a natural way work with your practitioner to to make sure that you get all of the right information and do your own due diligence in terms of educating yourself about what you can do naturally to get healthier and definitely check out my other videos on mold exposure and you know where to look and what to look for and make sure that you address that in a natural and a healthy way. So I hope that you have enjoyed what I've discussed today. If you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you below. Also be sure to share this video with someone that you know will benefit from this information. And I appreciate a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so that you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And Remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.